nowhere to go and no place to call home My only friend was the man in the moon And even sometimes he would go away too Then one night as I closed my eyes What's up guys, it's your girl Brianna aka Mini Marley and if you haven't already seen the first part of this video you should definitely check it out because this is my foundation, contour and highlight video. I basically go in depth showing you how I do the base which also happens to be part one of this tutorial. So for now we're just going to jump right into the eyes and this is the Carly Bible palette which is super affordable. I got this from BH Cosmetics online for only $12.50 and I'm taking this nice plum color which is perfect for a lot of looks and it looks great on a lot of skin tones and I'm just basically using a fluffy brush to wash that over the entire lid as you can see I'm not being precise at all but make sure you start in the outside corner with the darkest color and kind of blend it inwards now if you're looking for another palette with shimmery colors this is a great one from elf and I'm using one of those shades just to basically add a little shine to the center of my lid and I'm just putting that color all over the middle as you can see I'm not being precise at all and I just went ahead and and wet the brush to get a little bit more pigment and shine out of this color. Now I'm going back into the Carly Bible palette and I'm taking this creamish white color and I'm just adding that to the inner corner of my eyelids and that's basically just going to brighten that area up and then I'm going to go back into the brush that I used to do that plum color and I'm just going to blend out the edges and make sure that everything is flowing nice and smoothly. Now I'm going back into the Carly Bible palette and picking up this bronze shimmery color and I'm just putting that over the entire eyelid once again just to kind of complete the look. That's pretty much it. Super simple. This is just a really easy eye look. So if you're a beginner, this is a great look for you. Now this is another really good affordable palette with really nice colors and this is the e.l.f. artist palette and I'm just going ahead and adding a little bit of a really light shimmery color to my inner corners because I just love this super highlighted inner corner look. And now I'm going to finish off my eyes with these lashes by Lily Lashes and this is in the style Sapphire. I am so bad at doing lashes guys, but I managed to get those on and I'm just going to add a little bit of color to my bottom lash line. This is that same plum color. I'm just sweeping that under the bottom lash line and then I'm going to use this e.l.f. mascara to go ahead and blend my real lashes with my fake lashes to make everything look nice. This is another mascara by e.l.f. and this one is great for catching those little hairs on your bottom lash line. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So this is what the eyes are looking like, really happy with it, just a nice simple look. Now this palette is the truth guys, I'm serious. Let me show you this highlight that I've been doing. This is like my everyday highlight. I use these two colors in the palette and they are just, just look at it. They're just so good. I love the highlighters in this palette. I'm telling you, if you want a nice affordable palette that you're actually going to use all the time, go for the Carly Bible one. It's available at B&H. This is clearly not sponsored. I just really love this palette. So this is what my highlight is looking like. I applied that on the tops of my cheeks, you know, the regular places. And now I'm going into this cream blush palette by e.l.f. I love cream blushes because they just look so natural. You can even use cream blushes on your regular skin with no makeup and it'll just give you a nice flush of color so I got a little bit crazy there but I'm just gonna blend this out and I use two of those colors to create the perfect blush for me so now I'm just using my beauty blender to block that a little bit and help that color blend in and as you can see these are so pigmented so now it's time for the lips and I was just all over the place guys. I'm starting with this NYX pencil, this lip liner, I'm just filling in my lips and it's basically like a nude for brown skin type color. And now I'm going in with this Ofra liquid lipstick. I will list the colors for all of these below because I just used so many. I kept trying to add and see, you know, what was going to work. That's usually what I do with my lipsticks. I promise you guys, I try like five lipsticks before you see the final color. But now I'm just outlining my lips a little bit with the Bittersweet Lip Pencil by MAC. And then I'm filling them in in the center with this NYX Nude Lip crayon thing and this is my final lip finally so i hope you guys really enjoyed this look there were a lot of affordable products that you can try out and this is also really great for beginners so don't forget to check out part one and i will see you in my next tutorial peace out